by the way it's 56 degrees on December 24th in Chicago <laughs> I'm going to change my ice racing uh, car into a lukewarm temperature racing car <laughs> all right Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today is December 24th and you guys are watching this on Christmas. So I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas um, and a Happy New Year in case I don't see you guys until then. But yeah, uh, today is uh, weirdly warm here in Chicago. It's going to be about 54 degrees today. Pretty crazy considering I'm building an ice racing car and there's no ice anymore. Aww. So what I'm going to do today is um, work outside, take advantage of this warm weather. I just got that call ha car hauler a couple of, maybe a week or two ago and it came with a battery hookup uh, for my truck so I can power the winch. So that's what I'm going to do today. I am going to hook that wire up, get the trailer back here I bought some uh, straps for the trailer I want to figure out what uh, and where everything goes and then actually put that trailer back down the side of my house here uh, right now it's just for sitting on my front yard so let's jump into it and get working Right, guys so here's what we have uh, this wire that came with the trailer um, here had a couple uh, locks to secure the trailer a ton of keys I need to figure out where all the keys are there's a wireless remote for the winch and there should be a controlled remote but I don't know where I put that um, and then I just need to figure out where all the keys go here's a couple uh, straps I ordered a, a wheel uh, chalk and then I need to get some of these ties out of my garage so I can actually have more working space. So these are my winter ties I'm going to be using, um, but it's going to be a while as you can see. So I'll throw those on the trailer. I'm going to throw the probably, I don't know, probably those ties on the trailer as well. I'll leave the ice racing ties where these ones are because I will get those mounted soon. Then I also want to check how the ramps work. I'm sure it's pretty straightforward. I just need to double check all of that since I haven't really had time to play with the trailer. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. <laughs> What I've done so far, what's cool is I can get eight tires up there. Um, so snow tires, winter tires, and whatever else, I guess. Uh, so that's cool. It's good to know I can put maybe nine, but uh, eight is good. Because whenever I go ice racing, the car will be on winter tires. Because I'm not driving the spike tires on here. Now when I get to the track, I'll have to switch them out. So I'll keep the ice tires on the rack. Um, now, see, I don't want to rarely keep anything in the truck. I want this to be uh, ready to go in case I have to take my wife's car or another buddy's truck. So I think I don't need 
four gas cans. These look like maybe six six gallon gas cans. I don't know anything about race gas cans here. But I think I'll keep the blue ones because the car's gonna be silver and blue. I'll put the white ones aside. And then I think I'm gonna find a toolbox that fits in between this gap here. So I can keep all of this stuff, um, the straps for the tires, so I don't have to keep anything in the truck. And then also, uh, like the wheel when I'm uh, towing. The other thing I'm trying to do is figure out how to hook up this wire here. I don't know any um, 12 volt positives back in the in the back of the truck, so I'm gonna try to hook it up straight to the battery. It looks like I might have just a little shy of the length of uh, the wire but that's running from the outside not the inside of the frame so that's what i'm going to work on now and see what i'm working with Await the future to come at last this so this is where we stand the battery wire is at the battery um this still needs to make it all the way back to here and that's all i have so i think i need an extra five ten feet i'm gonna see what else i need for the trailer and then I'm gonna run to the store and get some more wire if anything's open. But uh, here is how the ramp hooks up, so that's nice. Uh, it latches on so that won't slide off. Um, I don't really need more D rings. There's only four on here, but they got these, uh, I think they're called Easy Tracks. I need to order more. Uh, these ones are terrible and they use two different keys uh, The one I have on my truck since I have two for the hitch there I have one key so I'll order a set uh, For the trailer that just has one key. That's a better design than that um, I'm gonna measure out this area here see if I can go to the hardware store as well and find out if I can get uh, a toolbox to bolt in there I think this light is out Maybe I'll look for a light bulb for that. So yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna pull that wire out so I don't drag it everywhere. Um, take these gas cans out, do the measurements, and run to the hardware store. A few moments later. That was a pain to take this light bulb out. I checked the connection, it is getting power, so it is, the connection's a bit corroded, but the light bulb was also corroded, so I'll scrape out the rust and uh, replace the light bulb. Also, these screws were stripped. So that was fun. Someone clearly tried to change it and never got to it. Uh, next on the list is... I hate anything on the side of the driver's side because I'm always by myself. So I'll come out here and now I gotta unhook everything but I'm a big guy. It's hard to squeeze in this gap. So I'm gonna take this wheel off and put it on that side. Because, um, you know, why not? I'm gonna do that now in case I break something or strip a bolt or whatever before I run to the hardware store. So let's uh, switch that up and see what else we need to do. I will be gone. I'll see the memory forever Tire has been moved, worked out perfectly. Um, another problem which I face is this. That is annoying. Um, I don't know if there's really a way to fix that. I have, I think I can move this out to that hole, but I don't know how strong that is. This is a 15,000 pound uh, hitch, so I might do that, then that would give enough room. And then I'd have to, I guess I can't rotate this. So since I'm putting a power hook up on here, I might put a power tongue jack, because why not? but that's not really a concern right now. Uh, I don't need to get in the back of the truck that often. Uh, so, running to the hardware store now for uh, screws and a light bulb. And I'm gonna try to look for a toolbox and extra wire. So I need to make that list so I don't forget. So let's jump into it. Well, I'm just pulling up to the first door now, which is Lowe's. I'm gonna look for a toolbox, um, and if they don't have it, then Home Depot and then Ace Hardware. But my goodness, everyone is a procrastinator for Christmas shopping. It is packed 
everywhere. Um, even Lowe's is packed. I guess a lot of husbands getting the perfect tool set uh, this Christmas. Anyways, first stop, Lowe's. All right, first door done. Um, I found the perfect toolbox for the space I'm working with, but the only one they had was broken. Their app said they had three more in stock, but you know, customer service. I did, as per usual, when you go to the store, buy some other stuff. Um, now that I'm thinking about this, this toolbox, I figured I may need some things in the the toolbox other than just the straps so i bought a pair of gloves that i can keep in the toolbox uh some wd-40 some uh lubricant and some pb blaster in case you know whatever happens so i got that stuff i did take a picture of the upc code i'll order that online and now on to ace hardware change of plans i am going to be running to another lowe's it's about uh, 14 minutes away i need to get this project done today so i'm gonna go there quick they have eight in stock so hopefully they actually have at least one in stock uh and then i'm going to hit the hardware store get everything else i need so i can head home and finish the trailer all right guys so they had that one there uh so i got the toolbox and um, now I'm gonna hit the hardware store for the wire, some screws, and a light bulb. So, just quickly, I'm gonna grab some uh, Wendy's here because it's right here. And looking at the time, I don't have much time to get everything I need done today because it is Christmas Eve and I have family things to do. So, let's jump into it. Hi, can I have you? Hi, could I get a number nine yeah. regular? Anything else? That's it. Eight thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Take care. Happy holidays. You too. Have a good one. All right. So hardware store seem to have everything. Um, the extra wire I need for the battery hookup. They didn't have that gauge of a wire, so I just bought some uh, jumper cable. I'm gonna cut and use the wire. Back at home. Uh, lots to do. Gonna do that light bulb. Uh, unfortunately, look at this. The toolbox is so close. But yet, so far, uh, I want to try one more thing before I call it quits. So width-wise, it's perfect. Depth-wise, it's not. Maybe. Yeah, it's not good enough. Well, that is unfortunate. looking I'm glad I did this I replaced the actual screws here because I have about nine thousand dollars of tools and every screwdriver possible but I can't apparently I didn't have whatever head those were so um, that's stupid uh, so what I did is when I went to the hardware store I just got two sets of those screws because I figured that light bulb will go out on the other side and I'll just replace them with something that's more standard and luckily when I was unscrewing that it was uh, a bit jittery so I replaced the light bulb because I did get two light bulbs uh, put some uh, electrical grease in there so it should be good for a long time now now what's the next project oh these uh, bolts are to hold uh, the ramp in I just want to put some grease on them so they don't seize up put that ramp back on and then start working on the trailer wire all right well that was quick and simple ramps back on bolts will at least brushed off and greased up yeah i think it's a uh, truck wiring time so let's jump into that all right so what i have here is the side that needs to be hanging out of my truck i need to figure out where that goes uh, and then you ground it somewhere on the back anywhere to the frame the next thing is this positive lead which to me is the best place to put it on the battery i didn't find the same gauge metal and i don't have a big crimping like this so all i'm gonna do is cut this wire in the middle ish take apart these jumper leads and then solder on I think about eight feet and that should be enough for what i need to do A 
I think I added about 10 feet, probably too much, but I think that's fine. What I'm gonna do is actually start at the trailer side and then start fishing it under the truck and then I'll coil all the extra in the hood of the truck. That way it's not daggling out. My biggest problem right now is the exit point for the plug. So here's the truck side. Where am I gonna leave this dangling? So ideally it should be in the, in the bed because then um, it's protected from the elements. The only hole into the bed is right about here and then i have to have a cable in the bed all the way in here which i don't necessarily want uh and then will the cable pinch it actually won't pinch it looks like that's good now that i'm thinking about it that might be the best the best place to run it and i'll just figure out like a velcro strap system to have the extra cable tied up in there well let's get going let's get this done I found a ground uh, right behind the bumper here so the ground is hooked up just hook the positive up uh, and let's check if the winch works so here's the control wonderful okay so you can lock it or make it free all right that's cool nice it's actually uh, I guess I don't know if it's needed but it's smart to put the winch in a box so it stays clean. So now the winch is hooked up to the battery there. And... Okay, I know there's a manual control somewhere. Something leads me to believe that I threw it away. Well, that'd be dumb, but wouldn't be the first time I've done something dumb. So that is done and believe it or not this driveway is all dry everything under the truck is wet and now i'm a mess so rule number two in life if there's a rule number one always have two car lifts because one's gonna have a project on and the other one should be right there so i could uh, do this would have taken i'd say a quarter of the time with a car lift because I don't really fit too well under a truck that's not lifted up. So now I just need to tidy up these wires here. That's fine. Zip tie this up here. Put a lot of grease in this plug because it, one side will be attached to my truck the whole time. But at least it will be in the bed. Um, every time I will tow the truck, I'll just plug that in. So none of the salt gets into the plug for the, the winch. But I think that was the right move. I don't want a battery here. Then I got to charge a battery. Now it's just going to run off the truck, which is perfect. And what else do I have to do today? Um, that's basically it. I need to keep looking for a box here, preferably a taller one than I had uh, and narrower. It's crazy. If this bar was just half an inch forward, that toolbox would work. But basically what I want in the toolbox is some gloves, some oil, WD-40, and all the straps. And then also the wheel chalks over there for the trailer. So, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Um, as always, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe if you want to see more car content. Uh, I'm not doing any of the crazy stuff. I have a supercar. I've We'll do some super car videos, but mainly I want to do <laughs> my passion here uh, is working on cars. I don't want to work on that thing. It's too much of a, <laughs> a liability if, uh, you know, I mess something up there. So I'm working on my R32 right now. Just finished up my ice racing tires here. Pretty cool tires. Um, if you haven't checked out those videos, I'll link them below. But over the next... I'll say three to five weeks, I'll be assembling this car, putting it all back together, and uh, getting it ready for when it ever gets cold here in Chicago. Uh, I'm not complaining about the warmth, but of course the year I'm building an ice racing car, it's too warm. <laughs>